Hi everybody and welcome back to Alfie's Body Transformation Journey. I just want to start by saying a massive thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel so far and all the people that have watched it. Um, for all of my subscribers and all the people that have been liking and commenting, thank you so much. It really helps us to uh, show this video to more people. So if you're new to the video, please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button and, and let me know any comments that you have um, regarding the video. It really helps it to, to reach more people. Once again, as always, I'll be going through uh, the food that I've been doing, the gym that I will be doing, um, how the weight has been moving. I mentioned last week that I would track the fat content, which I have done, um, so I'll be able to give you a little bit of an update on that, and the muscle mass as well. And on top of that, obviously the most important thing for me with this uh, video stream is the mental health side of it. It's not been the easiest week in the world for me, so I'll be able to go through that in a bit more detail. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. So first I'll talk to you about gym and the food. Gym I've been quite a few times this week. Uh, found some workouts on bodybuilder.com for my upper body and have been using workouts that I already knew for my legs. So I've actually been doing quite intense workouts when I've gone. Uh, Thursday I also woke up at 6am to go for a morning swim and 36 lengths which from a previous video you'll know that I'm not a strong swimmer so that was quite a big achievement for me and I'm hoping to wake up early more often to go for a swim in the morning it made me feel a lot more awake and alert through the day which was great. Um, in terms of food it's very similar foods that I've been having throughout the week the jacket, potato, well, jacket sweet potatoes with tuna and light mayo has been sort of a staple at lunch. Uh, porridge with jam and cashew butter, which is like peanut butter, but cashews. That has been every single morning, pretty much. And even when I went to Winter Wonderland on Saturday, uh, those that you don't know, it's basically like a Bavarian Christmas activities and market. And it's a really cool place. It's like a little village for Christmas. Um, there was so much temptation with food, so much temptation with alcohol. Um, I managed to hold off from drinking anything. I also waited till lunch and had one breakfast and that was all I ate through the whole time there. Uh, so in terms of my food, I've stayed below the calorie intake apart from one day. I went to a charity event um, for homeless people and the dinner there, it was a pub quiz, the dinner there was pizza and had six slices. So I passed my two and a half thousand calorie limit by 80, so it's not exactly the end of the world, um, but it did affect my weight somehow, which I'll go through later in the video. But overall, I've been hitting around 1800 a day, and I have been seeing uh, steady improvements in terms of weight and feeling a lot better about myself and physically better and more alert as well from eating healthier. So that's been my food and workouts. So in terms of the weigh-ins, I started the week on 101.4 kilograms and I checked my body fat, it was 32.4% and a muscle mass of 38.4%. Um, that was a steady improvement through the week. As I said, the day after the charity do where I had pizza, somehow it jumped to 101.2, so 800 grams increase. Um, I didn't even eat 800 grams of food. Uh, that evening, so I don't really know how that's happened. My body fat apparently went up by 0.1% and my muscle mass stayed the same. Um, later in the week, I didn't manage to weigh myself. I was actually away for the weekend and I came home on Monday and I weighed myself again and I'm down to 100.4 kilograms. So I'm nearly at that 100 kilo mark, um, which will be a massive, massive achievement for me to go from 107 to sub 100 within four weeks would be amazing for me I'd, I'd be really really proud um, my body fat has also dropped to 31.8 so i am making some dents in that body fat which is why the weight has dropped but my muscle mass has also increased by 0.4 percent so it shows some workouts that i've been doing have really been working um i've been trying to make sure that i'm eating enough protein for that to turn into muscle um, and enough carbs to make sure that I'm not starving myself so that my body has to burn through the muscle to be able to f fuel the rest of my body. Um, so again, if you have any questions about how my diet's actually going in more detail, or if you have any questions about the workouts in a bit more detail, please put it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to speak to you guys. 
but that is the weight as you can see there is a steady loss um, what I wanted to say about that little increase is sometimes on this journey you will have them little increases in weight it doesn't always mean that you're putting on a load of weight or putting on loads of fat sometimes it just can be an anomaly and um, that's why it's best to space out your uh, weighing so that you're not weighing yourself every day uh, otherwise it will get you down and you'll start obsessing about the little things that increase your weight slightly so overall a great week thanks so this last bit is about mental health. Um, it's been a tough week for me. I started my diploma in personal training and life coaching, uh, which would be a level four qualification. Um, and it terrified me, but I managed to go through with it and actually commit myself to it. There is part of me that is sort of agging at my brain to stop. Um, I know that is just the fear trying to tell me, which it always does and I'm refusing to listen, I'm going to follow this through. I'm going to prove to myself that I can, and I'm going to stop quitting at things um, just because I'm scared I'll fail. So if I fail, I fail, but I'm going to give it my everything to actually complete this and, and get it done. Uh, also with food and drink. Uh, the drink, not so much. The drink's actually getting a lot easier for me now. I'm not craving it anywhere near as much as I used to. I'm at a point where I don't even think that I want to go back to it um, I'm feeling more awake, I'm sleeping better because I'm not staying up till 2 or 3 in the morning drinking. Um, my body is a bit more rested and I'm not necessarily feeling the benefits properly. I don't necessarily feel the benefits much from food or drink changes as much as I think I should. Um, but I can tell there have been some incremental changes to my physiology through the day that show me that it is or must be working to a certain degree and I'm not sort of looking at even a point where I'm going to start drinking again at this point of my life. Um, I can't really see the point. I'm perfectly happy without it. I'm enjoying my working out. I'm enjoying my healthy eating um, doing my diploma and just sort of really looking into myself and trying to grow as, as Alfie, uh, which I hadn't done enough in the past. So using the time that I would have been doing nothing because I was drunk and eating my life away to do something constructive. So I'm really proud of that. But the food has been really troublesome this last week. I have craved so much fast food. Um, and I think that is always linked to where I get scared. Financially, I'm not in the world's greatest position right now. Um, doing a diploma actually hasn't helped whatsoever with that. It's probably an extra expense that I could do without right now, but it's, it's important for me to keep growing as a person and keep developing myself. So I'm going to bite the bullet with that. Uh, and it's an investment, so I'm not too upset with it at all. But when I get scared that I'm putting all this risk into it and the risk of failure and, and the risk of not being good enough, I start to get a bit down and then I want to eat. Walking through Winter Wonderland as well, I just smell churros and burgers and sausages and chocolate and everything. I just wanted to eat everything and, you know, I've really struggled with that this week. But saying that, I've stayed strong, uh, apart from the pizza on the charity night, but it was straight after work and there was no one else to eat there. And it did go on until 10pm, so I had no choice but to eat what was available. Um, other than that, I've I've actually stuck to my guns. I've, I've stayed well within the calories that I've been wanting to eat, and I've eaten good foods instead of eating crap foods like I normally do. Um, even at the cinema yesterday, I decided not to have any popcorn because my calorie had my calorie intake for the day was at eighteen hundred. I didn't need any more. That's as much as I've had every other day. I just want it because it's there, uh, or because of habit at the cinema. So I chose not to do it. Um, that being said, it has been linked to feeling down and just want you to know if you do get the similar feelings, if when you have anxiety or you're feeling down about something and you want to reach for having a drink or you want to reach for having food or chocolate or, you know, anything that is how you deal with it, that's not abnormal. Um, it's fine to have those feelings. It's something that everybody gets and you will make it through it. All you've got to do is keep telling yourself that you are stronger. 
Um, you can also find someone close to you that you're going to be able to uh, message or talk to when them feelings come up and you'll be able to have somebody that you can bounce that across. And if they are supporting you, they'll be able to support you in, in saying no to those things. If you are really struggling, you don't really have anybody like that to talk to, you're more than welcome to mention in the comments and I would happily be like your sponsor sort of thing. Um, you know, you can talk to me anytime and I'd be more than happy to help you through those hard moments that, and give you an idea of what I do in them hard moments. So yeah, not the uh, strongest mental health week that I've had. There's been a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, um, and I've wanted to turn that into my old behaviours, which was drinking and alcohol, but I haven't. And I would love to help you make the same choices to stop the destructive behaviours that you don't want in your life anymore as well. So that's all for the mental health this week. And thank you so much for everyone that's watching the video. Thank you so much to everyone that's got this far. Please put your comments in the bottom of anything, any questions that you have, uh, whether you like the video or not, anything that you'd like to see going forward, anything that you want, just put it in the comments. Please hit the like and subscribe to the video as well. As I said, it really does help us with uh, reaching a wider audience. There are especially men, a lot of men out there that uh, struggle to talk out about these things. And I'm literally fiddling with my hands like this because it is kind of scary to put myself out there like this um, and I understand that it can be nerve-wracking so I just want anybody that's feeling that way to reach out there there is help out there that you're not alone at all I know it's that sort of time of year where things seem like they're really getting on top of us but you're not alone um, even if you want to just reach out to me there is somebody there that does care and I do know what you're going through uh, for the most part or, or at least the feelings that you're feeling so um with that have a great week and i will see you soon